This next one is the balloon stitch. Ooh. Okay, balloon stitch. This covers a lot of space in a short time. So this once again is great for backgrounds. It looks really good on a dress. Um, there's a lot of things you can use it for. Okay, so you're gonna start with your two top ones, which are each over two. And you come back down and you're gonna work lengthening by one on each side. Then when you get to this middle one, you're gonna to start to descend. You're going to double it. And then you start your downward trajectory. Just seemed like a fun word for this morning. <laughs> okay. A fun word would be sleep. <laughs> then you're back to your two. So over two, and you're gonna do two of those. And then you're just gonna start right back over. Then when you get ready to do your, to come back the other way, which I will do real right now, is you would then, these would be your longest stitch. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't think it's that long, but we'll go with it. Mainly mm. just want to show you that when you've got your one too many, where you've got your short stitch will then be your long stitch. That's why you've got two of the long ones in the middle and then your two at the top. And then you just start, you're decreasing from there until you get back up. And I'm gonna jump ahead. And then again, these, these two in the middle, because they were your longest one prior, they will then be your short ones. It's a good way to, to keep check that everything's lined up. And then when you get back up to these two short ones, it will again be your longer stitch. Okay.